<laughs> I just got whacked. Yep, on. Oh, baby. Oh, solid baby. fish. Not. I don't think it's a gigantor, but it's a solid fish. Oh, it's a big one! It's a big one! It's a big one! It's one of the most diverse and dynamic fisheries I've ever had the privilege to experience. Every time we get on the water, it's like being there for the very first time. We never know what it has in store for us. The Chesapeake Bay. Let's go see how choppy it is out there. It's gonna be beautiful. As much as we have fished the bay, Cody and I had never had the opportunity to come out in the winter and target these big migratory stripers that call the Chesapeake Bay their home for the winter. So we set aside a long weekend to get down on the water and try to figure these fish out. And although the weather was against us, we were gonna fish every opportunity that we had. How's my hair? <laughs> I need a haircut. We gotta keep us warm in the winter. Yeah. Oh man. Hey there folks. <laughs> Welcome to Fish and Holler. Guess where we are? We're on the Chesapeake Bay, baby. It is February 16th. Is it? And we are on the Chesapeake Bay for the first time ever doing winter striper fishing, looking for those mondo rockfish that migrate into the bay and uh, hang out during the winter before they spawn and then head back up north. We don't really know what we're doing to be honest with you. This is our first experience hunting these big big stripers. We've got some big jigs on with some big plastics on them, some big spoons tied on, some big paddle tails tied on. Um, we're looking to probably find these fish deep from what we've been reading and what we've been seeing. So we're gonna just start kind of Hunt. cruising around here and hunting for these fish. Yeah, it's pretty slack right now. Pretty too. slack. We kind of missed the incoming tide. But we're going to we're going to watch the birds. We're going to go work some edges and ledges and hopefully that tide starts pumping back out and we have a chance of some big ones. So, stick with it, stay tuned. And we'll see you with a big old cow in our hand. Let's go. Let's get them, buddy. Let's do it. Day 1 was a grind. We fished a lot of locations where we've caught schooling striper in the fall. We found birds and even bait, but sadly, no fish, not even a small one. In fact, it's the first time that we can recall ever being skunked on the Chesapeake Bay. But we can learn just as much in our failures as we can from our successes. The fire that had been ignited inside of us to experience these truly remarkable fish could not be extinguished by one slow day on the water. Unfortunately, the next day was even worse. Heavy winds bringing in a cold front would keep us off the water, but it didn't stop us from planning, scouting, and scheming for what we would do once the storm had passed. On the afternoon of our third day, the winds had finally receded enough to allow us to launch the boat and get on the water. We explored a lot of new water this day, cruising channel edges, looking for the structure and interesting contours that we had noted the day before. We found sparse bait and sporadic bird activity, but nothing holding substantial fish underneath. Tell me what's on your mind, Captain. My mind is, what the rockfish do in the winter? No. That they stage deep because they're getting ready for the spring spawn. All right, if you were stage deep, why would you pick a specific location? What variables? Food. Food. I think that's what we're not finding. And structure. Right. We've got ledges. We found some rocky bottom. I think one huge component that we're lacking is bait. With another day starting to look like a failure, we decided to resort to another winter fishing staple. We headed to the nearest power plant to have our first experience fishing a warm water discharge in the dead of winter. I think I got hit. I got that rap, 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 that like real quick rap from the little ones. You did? I think so. Dude, we're marking a bunch of fish on the bottom and one up in the column, like 10 foot. 
I'm on. I'm on, dude. It's a little guy, but I'm on. <laughs> it's a diaper, but I'm gonna take him. Wahoo! It's a February striper. <laughs> Yay, we did it! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> dude, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them down there. Oh my goodness. God, That's so funny. Good. This is why we come out here in the middle of winter, blowing in the wind for these 40 centimeter stripers. <laughs> <laughs> it's something. Thank you so much for playing, little guy. First striper of 2023. We'll see ya. We did it. <laughs> no skunk today, at least. No skunk today. Whew. Not sure what I was doing, honestly. Cause I was doing a bunch of different retrieves to try to get him to bite. What size is your big enough? Ounce and a half. Seven inch jerk shad on there. I've never been so excited for a 12 inch striper. <laughs> Oh, I just got hit again. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. No, I might be snagged. No, I'm on. It's just a very lethargic fish. and small. Ah, now we're figuring out the pattern. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I hooked him through the gills. That's kind of sucky. See you, buddy. With the much-needed boost in confidence, we decided to stick around the power plant and fish well into the night until exhaustion finally swept over us. On the way in, we had a pretty interesting avian encounter. I'd kind of be afraid to grab him, I think. Hey, buddy, what's wrong? Oh, he's hurt. You think like a duck hunter shot him or something? Poor gamut. Dude, he's humongous. What are you just... He just spit something up. He just spit up a bunker or something. I wonder if he's too full. <laughs> no, like that happens to, to vultures. Oh, really? Like they eat too much, they can't fly. Cause there look, look, go. where, he... dude. That? He had to throw that up his dinner. That is wild. <laughs> that is so wild. <laughs> that that is what happened there. Dude. He was too full. He th he threw up a bunker dude, this big. Dude. Yeah. We should be fishing right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty wild, dude. That's cool, man. That's really cool. We thought he was hurt. Wow. We slept hard that night and woke up the next morning to another unfortunate blowout. High winds once again kept us off the water. But we made the most of the day with some much needed family here, time, boyos. more scouting and planning, and some delicious food to nourish our neglected bodies. Hello, gentlemen. And now you we were left morning? with one last day. We're gonna go find out where to one day tomorrow. to find these fish. One day to connect with a giant Chesapeake Bay rockfish. Something, that's for sure. It's something down there. It ain't nothing. Dude, that's fish. I think that's fish. That's fish. Yeah, I think that's fish. Oh the morning started out grim as our initial plans to launch from the south were thwarted by high chop. So we decided to venture back north and give it one last shot in an area where we hoped we would have some protection from the westward wind. And to our disbelief, conditions were prime. Nice buddy, nice. Cody's hooked up. Big one. <laughs> Is it big? Is it big? Wow, them. Nice fish still. Nice buddy. It's pretty hard to get them. I got no mouth to grab. We don't have a net. Just grab the jig head. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's what I've that's been doing. Dude, buddy. Dude, look how fat he is. Hey, we found fish. That's the big thing. We found open water fish in the middle of February. We are learning. I gotta get them back. Yep, go ahead. Sweet. Nice, dude. Way to go, buddy. Way to go. No skunk today, boys. Woo! Dude, we went from the lowest to lowest. No skunk this today. Morning. Like, oh, we're not. We're not even gonna be able to fish. To get out today. Twenty feet down. Twenty feet down. And as we continued to drift along the channel edge, in about sixty feet of water, we started consistently marking big single fish, suspended in that twenty to thirty foot range. We could only imagine these were big migratory fish cruising the ledge, looking for suitable waters and something to munch on. The only problem was 
we couldn't get them to commit to our baits. I don't understand. I mean, I guess it's just they're not, not on the tube. But they're suspended. Normally, that would mean they work. With neither Cody or I having much experience fishing deep water, it was challenging to know if we were staying in the strike zone or not. But we kept jigging, just hoping that our lines would pull tight until it finally happened. Marking them up high again, buddy. 20 feet down. Not like we just were, but a couple. Wow, dude, we gotta hook up here. Yep. Dude, we gotta hook up here. Whatever zone you were in when you got bit, stay there. <laughs> Just got whacked. It's a solid fish. Not, I don't think it's a gigantor, but it's a solid fish. Oh, it's a big one! It's a big one! It's a big one! Dude! <laughs> oh, Cody! It's a big one! It's a big one! It's a big one! It's turning on the guns now, buddy! Dude! Dude! It's a giant! <laughs> oh, baby! I'm shaking, dude. I'm shaking like crazy. Oh, my mind. How was the bite? Was it a dude, solid? Dude, no. It, was, it felt like every other like bite we get. You know, that kind of thump thump. Dude, it's big. It's heavy. He's heavy. Big fish, Take buddy. Dude, that mouth came All up right. and there was like a five Dude. gallon bucket coming up out of the water. Oh my gosh. I don't like my drag on this thing. I thought I fixed it, but it's kind of popping. Oh, I'm scared. I'm terrified. Dude. So he came up and then he went back it's down turning, and he went it's down hard. turning the fish on. Yeah. It's yeah. turning the oh fish on. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude. This fish. This fish. You're like, ah, oh, that's a solid fish. I thought he was like mid twenty. <laughs> and then the weight. Dude, because he was coming up with the, it. Because uh, he was coming up with it. I got the big ruler. If we pull off land this thing, let's yeah, land this thing. Focus on that first. Oh man. That's Dude, a, big migratory. That's a big, big migratory that's fish. A, oh my gosh. Big. Dude, if you want to keep fishing, it's all good, dude. No, 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 Are you no. Sure? I wanna. No, no, no. I want no, no. this. I appreciate you. Look dude, dude, here's, here comes, here comes. Oh, buddy. Don't reel him too high. He's your, uh, dude, giant. You, yeah, buddy! I don't know. I don't know, bro. That's a big boy. Oh, my God! <laughs> yes! Thank you, Cody. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Dude, on oh my it gosh. Came oh my goodness, pressure. It was all tension. Oh my gosh. Guys, we did it. Hold on, I'm gonna make a cast real quick, dude. Massive stripers down there, guys. Massive ones. We stuck with it. We fought through the wind. We fished through the night. And here we are. Stuck around where we knew there was bait, where we knew there was activity. And he showed up today. That's a heavy fish. We gotta measure it. That's a heavy fish. 42 inch Dude, striper, hold, baby. Hold that girl up. I will. Dude, we are on some fish right now, boy. Dude, that's a heavy fish. Release that girl. Oh my gosh. Dude, she's ready to go. She just ripped right out of my hands. Dude, look at that bait. Oh my gosh. Look at that bait we're on right now. Oh my gosh, dude. But it wasn't like that when I hooked that fish. It was sporadic fish every once in a while. We finally connected with our first winter giant. And soon, it was Cody's turn to get in on the action. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah buddy. Take one, take one. Feels big. Ooh, almost fell off the boat. Big and on, big and on. Cody's hooked up. How's it feel? I mean, it feels big. Yeah. How do you hit? On the drop. On the drop. <laughs> yeah, time. yep. That's it popping over those fins. We, those, birds don't lie, those birds don't lie. We were marking nothing on the finder at that point, which is good to know. I mean, those fish we marked, but then they ran, they moved, but they were still in the area. Big, big, big dude, dude. Take your time with him, take your time with him. Massive. Somewhere Stripe in bass. Day, boys and girls. Like that old digging, boys. Not to put any pressure on, but that's way bigger than mine. <laughs> Dude, that's huge. That's humongous. That BKD in his mouth, that GI okay, jig. Uh, hook. Don't look buried super deep. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do my best. Oh my god. Oh buddy. Oh buddy. Uh, yes, Cody. I never turned this Oh buddy, that's okay. That's okay. You just caught a massive freaking rockfish in the Chesapeake Bay. I'm coming off. This is such a special fish. You got it, Pam? Yeah, yep. 46. Oh my god. Dude, it's humongous. This is the biggest fish I've ever caught. It's humongous. Oh my gosh, dude. That was a long fight. It's because of fighting the fish and the current. Yes, you were. Just got my thumb real bad. <laughs> what a beautiful fish. Monster It's really fish. important that you take care of these fish, you know? I, like, even having her out of the water that long, I've never caught one before. I, you know, so I wanted to get the picture, and that's okay, but, you know, I see a lot of anglers just unhooking them both side that have caught a lot of these fish. And, I mean, that's probably that's, that's one of the, the best things it. you can do is just reduce the stress. That dorsal fin pops up. Yeah. Usually a good sign, hopefully. Oh, there he goes. <sighs> it finally happened. We both landed fish that we've only dreamed of. But the day wasn't over yet. Big, big marks. One big mark, two big marks, three big marks, 30. <laughs> Catch one while I retie. What's that? I'm curious how many of these marks are migratory fish. These big two, three, four marks at a time. Big boy. Big. Big, 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 big. Dude, that was again. I can't remember. <laughs> I think it was on the drop. Big. big. Pull and drag. Again, it was just like two or three big marks, and I'm just saying. Like, I wonder how many of these times we mark these fish like this that it's migratory fish. A lot better when not fighting the current. That's a big cow, dude. Do you want to get it in the boat or you want to release it in the water? You flip them? Dude, there's no bait. Where's his bait? <laughs> it's trying. <laughs> no, I won't let him go. Look at the bait down that fish's mouth. Yeah, buddy. Dude, we gotta measure that one. Congratulations, man. Holy cow, Cody. I'm over here playing with spoons. Cody's over here catching giants. Dude, that's another 45 incher. Oh! Jeez. 
Who's that? My phone was doing like a medical emergency call oh, no. in my pocket. 911, my heart stopped. 45. 45. 45, dude. She's really shredding my hand. Thank you, girl. Way to go, buddy. A 46 and a 45. Our mission to catch our first cows was finally complete. But our drive to chase these incredible migratory fish was stronger than ever. Oh, come on. Big fish. Big fish. Do FaceTime FaceTime. Big fish. This feels so weird. I think it's just because the spoon's like in his mouth fluttering, but I don't know. What's up, buddy? Oh, it's a little guy and he snagged. It's a, it's a foul. <laughs> I told you, I'm like, it feels so weird. It's oh not my no gosh. Cow. <laughs> that ain't no cow. <laughs> Poor guy. He's biting my fingers. Let go. We will continue to seek them to fish hard through the wind and the rain, through the cold and the sun, knowing that at any moment we may connect with an even bigger, more venerable fish than the last. Cody's gonna hook one in this big bait. We've got smiles on our faces. We learned so much this week. We caught the biggest stripers of our lives. We were blown off the water two days out of the five days we planned on fishing. And then the other days we only fished partial days. So really a day and a half of fishing maybe. And we were able to locate and hook up with a couple of monster, monster stripers. Migratory stripers, fish that have probably been to at least Maine and back, maybe Canada and back, who knows? Just incredible fish, have all the appreciation and respect for these fish. Um, you know, love being able to see them, experience them, and then let them go in this cold, clean water where they can go and thrive and head up the creeks in a couple months and hopefully have some babies, make more stripers. Thank you guys. I thank you guys. I thank you guys. I thank you guys. I thank you guys for hanging out with us on this one and experiencing this amazing fishery that the Chesapeake Bay is. Um, please make sure that you're respecting this fishery as much as you can, following the regulations. Cody's about to hook up with a big old fish, so hopefully we catch that here. If not, it's That's been a, a wonderful, wonderful trip, guys. Thank you so much for watching this one. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit that <laughs> thumbs up for me. <laughs> Sorry. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already so you can catch every adventure on the bay and off the bay. Yeah, leave me any thoughts or questions or comments down below. We'll see you in the next one. And always remember, that ain't no cow. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy.